Hello and welcome to a little something different from what you're used to seeing. This is a three part series on how to install the three main mods I've been using for most of my YouTube career currently, although I wouldn't call it much of a career. The Edine mod, the Age of the Ring mod and Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer. So beginning with our most recent playthroughs of Through Edine. So, so, uh, so assuming that everyone has, well, knows much about Edine, um, we'll know that it now requires the version 2.01 English patch. And for those that run the 2.02, it is, a, it is an unofficial patch. So you must remove this patch by either just reinstalling this or uninstalling Rise of the Witch and then reinstalling it again. I'm assuming for those of you that haven't played Edine or want to play Edine or Age of the Ring or whatever and whatever that you haven't played these before you're now learning how to do it and I'm going to teach you how to do it step by step so I've just got all the websites up for every single one of them uh, and a little a few things for those, uh, for those of you who want to see certain maps and how to install them and where to put them so but let's begin with Edine so as I said assuming you've just um, put your disc in or you've just set up your emulator I don't know much about emulators but I'm just going to go through everything as if we're step through step with the disc. So you have the disc, you just install the game, you've just all done all the um, little steps you need to do, very easy, very simple, sets you through it, and then now you've got the game, you've updated it with the updates that it gives, and then you are now here. So you're, you should just go onto the internet, you look for, well, I'm going to leave all the links for each of these um, in the description. So for here, it's going to be four different links. The first one is for the Rise of the Witch King 2.01 English patch, where you can, oh, pardon me, you can very easily download it. And then I have all the downloads trapped in here. We've got the ones for Edine to begin with. So this is the English patch. You simply go onto it, you run as administrator, you run everything as administrator. I recommend running everything as administrator because sometimes things can go wrong. Yes, you have to listen to that doo doo doo, but you have to listen to them anyway. And then you come to here, so it tells you you can update the patch to version, uh, update with Lives of Witch King to version 2.01. Then press OK, everything starts in uh, downloading, and then it closes, and then it's done. So you've now got 2.01. I've already got it, so I don't need to do show that. And then there are two other links that are both in the mod DB files for the Edine mod for, for the Edine mod itself. We've got 4.3, the 4.3 demo, which you will re be required to get. And then if you ever need to get the launcher patch for if you're just having problems, leave us here in Massive Castle. This is not the mod download. You still need the Edime demo itself. The launcher does not work without the demo. So this only works if you're having troubles with the actual installer, which I have nicely uh, shown right here. Very, very simple, very um, easy to get. All you have to do is click the download or the demo, download, and then you get this beautiful little folder here. It might be a zip folder. In fact, let me check. It is a zip folder. So all you need to do is unzip it. So the way, way to unzip anything, for those that don't know how to unzip anything, let's have a look at this Rohan uh, thing. For example, we you press extract all. But if you have, for example, a 7-zip folder, you can't open. Uh, I recommend just uh, downloading 7-zip for those that don't already have it. And then this open archive, you can find it here. Um, normally you want, want to um, extract everything from uh, just extract all but obviously you can extract all from here just select it here it tells you where you're going to put it extracts and now you've got it and then I just throw that in my face didn't need to see that but yeah, now we've got the folder here which we can send everything around in what in any leisure we desire but so once you have this it will give you well for the dying mod it's a dime four point dime mod four point three, and it has three things inside. The two bins, which I don't um, use, I don't know if they're of any use, but I've never needed it, needed them, and I've had plenty of, um, I've had no problems whatsoever. So then you just need to go for the application itself, uh, run as administrator. It takes a few seconds. Then you just uh, keep going through, just continue, and in fact I'll show it now if it doesn't take too long. Run as administrator. Oh, that was quick. Yep, just again, run as administrator, uh, select English, and then it goes through, just click next to conti continue, I accept the agreement, just, just saying um, the fully patched version of the game, associated pro uh, programs and components were offered free of charge, 
and again there's the tables of content that tells you everything everyone who's helped to sort the mod everything from sound to launcher also shows um screenshots for the game and then it's just it's just telling you what um, it's a full installation you don't want to go into anything else just go straight for it next and then install so that will get take you to getting the i don't i don't need any of this because again it will then install this little hand handy piece of work right here we get to see aragorn's ugly mug but then you need it will send you straight to the updates tab right here because as i said 4.3 is not the final version of edine currently edine 4.4.1 is the current version so it will immediately go to here and it will start updating it will search for any update that the game already has but if you're like me and already have everything up to date, you don't need to worry about anything. And it will say no updates available once it stops searching. But for those of you that have now um, update, um, that's installed this, you will require to get these updates. Once you see one of these go red, and this is no longer, um, this red box uh, thing is no longer going like this, just press update again and it will start the update. It will then tell you how long you've got to wait. And then it will show some other things that look precariously like this. Has this little symbol on on site if I, if I can increase the size nope doesn't, doesn't want to show there it is it will show the symbol that that's just um, again telling you uh, that just takes you to where you just need to go through some more things again just keep going through and you'll find that every update will be then done once every update's done just just just, just check every now and again then there's no no extra update you never know they might try to hide something in there just kidding there no but once every update is done you should have a um, the same load up as myself currently. Now, obviously, not the volume is the same, but then as a, um, something important to note, unlike with Age of the Ring, Edine has a very easy way to uninstall. I believe, actually, no, they might have an easy way to uninstall it. It just might be hidden in the many, many files that are elsewhere. But for Edine, you can very easily uninstall it just from here, no problem whatsoever. Uninstall. I show you once to completely remove your dime mod from all of its and all of its components. It'll get rid of everything, absolutely everything. It will take you back to having just 2.01. Obviously, I don't want to do that. But if I just quickly get this back up again, because there's a few things I want to show. So you can also disable the mod if you ever just want to just go get out the mod. Just just want to play um, basic Rise of the Witch King. You can you 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 think okay, I can just press this button and it work. Wrong. You cannot do that. What you have to do instead is enable is enable and disable the mod through here. Unlike Age of Ring, where Age of Ring has another button and when you immediately press it, it will take you straight to the game. This requires you to disable the mod and enable the mod to go to Rise of Witch King or a Dying mod. So if you want to go to the Dying mod, you'll see Aragorn's Ugly Mug. Once you disable the mod, you will see the Witch King riding a fell beast, attacked by being attacked by what looks like maybe Glorfindel, Aena, whoever. And then that is, that's it. Once you've got all of that done, you can play the game. If I remember to put the disc in, I did. Lucky for me, because that makes a lot of noise. Otherwise, you might hear a bit of that in the background. I'm not sure. But yep, then it takes you through this. Again, the em for the emulator, that might this process might be entirely different. I have no idea. I feel like it would be exactly the same. I don't see why they need to change anything for the emulator. But for those that do run an emulator, if you are having troubles with this still... Um, I might look in. I might be intrigued to look into it if we're given, given enough time to look into it. But then, yeah, you just load up and it comes up as 4.4.1 if you've got the most updated version. And then you're here. We're just into the game like before. Nothing changed. But we're going to get out of here again and back to here. Because there's one last thing I want to talk about. So that's all. That's all the install done. You've done all. You've installed the game. You're ready to play the game. But there's also one other thing you can look at, the add-ons. So, so, so many, many of you know I play a lot of fun custom maps, and I get most of them from the add-ons from the Dying content, community content. And it's very easy to find. Again, I'll leave the link in the description for you. And if I was to want to select any of these, I selected the Rohan 2, uh, 2v2. I can download it. I've already downloaded it and put it into my downloads. We've already shown how to extract it. So now, where to, where to put all the maps? Well, there's one place to put uh, to put them, and it is. Well, I'm actually going to show its direct route. So you have to pr uh, put app data, 
and have two percentage markers in between it otherwise you will never find it it's an easy way to find it another way is just go straight from this pc local disk users um, me nathan app data roaming and you will find all the files for me it will be my lord of rings rise of the witch king files and you look into maps and there you can see we have all of our beautiful maps laid out right in front of us and that is how you find the maps that is how you set up the game that is how you set up the patch and i've also told you how to uninstall the game if you wish to so i hope you've all enjoyed this little <laughs> install installer i have this is my first time trying it not gonna lie um my voice is very shaky as you can probably guess not trying to make these perfect quality this is just to tell you everything you need to do to be honest you can mute me <laughs> and just go through this entire thing not listening to me whatsoever just go through the download and it will tell it tells you everything the only what the only thing i think i need to go into really scrutinous detail in is for third age total war divide and conquer because it is the, the, the requirements you need to go through are extensive because it is a very old game but then uh, Age of the Ring and 2.02 is exactly the same process, but that will be on a different but much smaller video. So I hope you all enjoyed this little um, installer, and I hope to see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.